Hello friends, welcome to ADO.net tutorial. In this video, we will learn about the example which we are going to create in the next four videos. So here, if you see, the sample application loads data from the customer's table. And here we have load customer. This will load the customer table data into this grid. Right. Next, here in the bottom section, we have add customer and there are some fields. So in the example, when we are loading the data from customer's table of Northwind database, we pick ID, name, country and phone and we will populate this grid. Once the data is loaded from the database, here we have some set of fields and after filling this field, you can make use of add customer button and add a row to this customer's table. Similarly, you can make a call to add to table and this will add the row to the temporary data table here. We can call this as in-memory table and you can create multiple records by filling the data and clicking the add to table button. If you want to add three or four customers, fill the data here and click on the add to table button. So this will go and sit in the in-memory table. Right. Once that is done, let's say you built the in-memory table with uh, four or five records and once you click merge, we will see how we can merge this in-memory table to the table that is already loaded into the grid. So this is the grid content loaded from the DB, right? And this one is the in-memory. And we will see how the merge option is working here. We already learned about a merge in the data table and this time we are dealing with the data set. Here we have add unique key constraint. Once you click this button, we will add a unique key to one of our column. Say for example, we will pick this customer name and add a unique key here in the DB. Then we will examine how the merge is working. Similarly, we will use this button to add a primary key to the uh, ADO.NET table. And if you see here, we are trying to add two constraints. One is a unique key and another one is a primary key. Right. So with these two key, we will check how the table merge is working. Finally, we will. So this is simply to clear the grid. So that's all the example we are going to develop in this uh, sample and you will understand how we can add ADO.NET constraint when we are using the add unique key and add primary key. And at the same time we will see how the in-memory table merge works when the key present here. Alright, that's all here in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.